All right, everybody. This one's coming from a uh, from an anon source, oddly enough. Did the and usually they don't put anything like this, so usually they're straightforward on the regular stuff. So this is kind of concerning to me. Uh, it's coming from anonhq.com. Did the LHC collider at CERN cause the Naples uh, earthquakes? This is for all you anons out there and anyone else listening in. 8,000 people killed, nearly 18,000 injured, 400 are still missing in two weeks after April 25th earthquake in Nepal. Did our own people accidentally cause the debacle in the name of science? There's a lot of finger pointing, theorizing going on in the right, right now. And there's a large situation going on. All right, so they basically go into the magnets and the different stations, CMS, Atlas, Alice, um, LHCB, CMS, etc. And basically giving that the circumference is 27 kilometers and that it's uh, the Council of European, uh, European Porla Researcher Nuclear and the European Council for Nuclear Research for 9,600 magnets. Steer the beam of protons to 99.99% light speed, yada, yada, yada. We get the idea. Then we get to the point down here. Uh, basically, it says, my fellow anons, it's not turning off a light in your home. The beam don't circulate inside the accelerators forever as particles slow down the collider with the sides of the beam pipe uh, or with each other. The beams degrade and become less likely to give information that could lead to inserting physics or interesting physics. The energy is then focused into what is called a beam dump. The beam dump is sort of like a vault buried far underground and it's filled with materials designated to absorb the disper uh, absorb and disperse the beam energy quote unquote in this case that the LHC the beam energy needing to be absorbed in one single instance equates to the about four terawatts a little more than one for the whole world's energy usage is dumped into one time into an underground vault. And you can look this up, folks. This is this is all the real stuff. And I'm not so certain about this, folks. And here's the... Uh, sorry about that. I didn't even notice that. Here's the right up here. You guys can look this up. Uh, I'm not completely satisfied with this article. Here's your URL from A9HQ. Uh, because they've done the four folks where they've had to dump this. And it's been my understanding they're still not up to full power. Uh, but let me just read on. On April 25, 2015, scientists at CERN were starting the sequence to power up the LHC. The power capacities were brought up four separate times. And the time before the earthquake in Nepal, why four times? Does that mean the energy was dumped three times? I don't know. Video shows that after the fourth time, the beams initiated, and then something caused a priority beam dump, a protection dump, and a multiple system dump. All at nearly the same moment, the quake shook Nepal. All right, I'll believe that at the moment. Uh, instead of using the energy for a collision, it was all injected directly into the ground. So, it on top of the other three, is it on top of the other three dumps? Did we push 16 terawatts of power into the ground, make a tectonic bomb? You know, is it far is it far reaching to think that all this energy just followed the path of least resistance starting 
at the edge and worked its way through the mountain ranges to the head of the Himalayas until pressure until it hit a pressure point. List of unanswered questions goes on. Um, I understand why the sciences are there. That's a good question. Um, I don't know. 16 terawatts of energy straight into... Could have happened. 